Good evening, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live show where we cover the economy, the insanity in our markets, corruption, all that fun stuff, and the stocks that we think could beat it all to make everybody wealthy, right? Am I right? Am I right? How's it going? Look at all these people. I love it. You guys are all here. It's it's amazing. Fingers going to blast. There's so many good things going on. So many good things. We got lots to talk about tonight. Do we have lots to talk about? Oh my God. So much going on. So we'll, um, is Gensler stepping down? I didn't see that. That I would feel like I would have saw that. That's interesting. But, uh, <laughs> Vin man, I took my kids to soccer practice. You're funny. Connie, Pat, Armand. Mark, Darren, Brian, Coopers, Avalon, Ola, Lyrical, Mortal, Robert Armstrong. Hello from Northern Ontario. Love my Canadian friends. A, eh? M, M. What's going on? Rum Dog, B, B. C. Parker. What's up? Did I watch Iowa beat LSU tonight? Nah, I don't. I, I have not watched any college sports. I've been out on college sports for a long time. I just don't care. I just don't. And I, it's, it's a bummer because I'm a huge sports fan, but college just hasn't done it for me in a while. I used to be a huge college basketball fan, but the uh, the rules, once they started doing the one-and-dones, it just wasn't fun anymore. The teams aren't just aren't as good anymore. So, All right, all right, Jack Hamilton, holding strong. I love it. Julian, what's up? What's my TP? My toilet paper for GTI? <laughs> Kevin, what's up? Grateful. I'd love to hear it. Uh, let's see. Ace SF is the best football team ever, April Fools. How dare you? That's not what I want today. Elevated, what's up, Michael? What's going on, Zachariah? How you guys doing? All right. So I know what everybody's going to want to talk about first is what's going on with GTII. So let's just start there. Let's, let's just get it out of the way. And then we got plenty more to go over because it is – it's crazy. Uh, I mean, things are getting nuts out there. If you guys see what's going on with gold and uh, the markets, it's we might have just stepped into some a crap storm to start April and going further from here. So it is, uh, yeah, it's it's wild. So we've got plenty to talk about. But first of all, um, listen, put up all your questions on GTII, all that. Let's get it over with early because um, there's lots to talk about. I did watch Arca's video. Um, he obviously sees the downtrend, which listen, duh. And I'm not, that's not a knock on Arca. He's, he's just reading the charts. He's doing a great job doing it, by the way. That's why I watch his stuff. Love the guy. But it's my, the reason I say duh is because if you guys didn't see we're in a downtrend right now, I mean, come on. But does that mean we'll stay there? No, it doesn't at all. So the big thing going on with GTI, oh, target price. Thanks, Al. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I don't have a price target. I don't do price targets except for, uh, you know, what I hope and believe is possible. But day to day, I don't do price targets. You guys know that. That's not my thing. That's why you go to the chart, guys, not me. No, what I what I see happening right now is, is I think we're going to have a couple bad days. Absolutely. And the reason is, is because um, we should have had a 10K filing from them and they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball. They didn't get it done. And that sucks. It sucks for all shareholders. It sucks uh, on their part. And listen, it's, it's, first of all, I'm going to say this before I say anything else. I'm not, I haven't sold a share. I don't plan on selling a share. The short squeeze setup has not changed. And I believe really good things are coming down the road for GTII. And it could be sooner than later. It really could be. That being said, now let's talk about where we're at right now. Um, I don't know what happened to GTI's management. They fought hard for us. Since I've been here, 
I came in after they'd issued a warrant. They tried to issue uh, two other dividends before that that were turned down by the SEC, one of them a crypto dividend. They tried. SEC shut them down. They tried to get several deals together, fell through. The big one that was so close was 1-800-LAW-FIRM, which we now know backed out because they were scared of GTI fighting the shorts. Not their fault. Sucks, not their fault. They tried. They gave us a dividend. They did. They hired West Christian, which it didn't do anything, but they tried. They, uh, so they've tried. They've tried and they tried and they tried. They hired uh, the guy on the board last year who was um, and put together the task force to go after naked shorts. They have done so much. They've never dil- or, uh, they've never reverse split on us, uh, which is the ultimate killer. They've done so many good things for us. So first of all, let's say that. Secondly, since last summer, since the dividend actually, um, the last really exciting announcement we got was the fact that they were trying to get this AI or they signed this AI company, but we haven't seen revenue from that. Um, that was the last good announcement we got from them that really meant something last September. And since then, things have really slowed down. And to me, I know they're, manage- they're a very small company and I know their management is old. I think their CEO, Reichman, is in his 80s. And I think what's happened is they've gotten tired and they're not they're not getting it done anymore. And that sucks. Now, and the good news is they haven't betrayed us. They haven't, they haven't gone behind our backs and done anything. Nothing like that. This is not Adam Aaron. This is not AMC. So that's why the short squeeze plays is still on. However, I think it's time to you and I, everybody who owns shares in GTII, once they become a public company, you no longer own the company. It's not yours anymore. You are owned by the public. And yes, there are shareholders that might have more than others, so they have controlling stake, but it's not yours. All right, so it's our company. It's our company. And I'm going to say this. I think it's time our company got a fresh injection in leadership, and that is either the current leadership snaps out of it and gets something done quick, or the uh, they, they turn it over. There's no shame in retiring. You'll obviously keep shares and and turning it over and to, to new leadership. And I think that would be a really, really good move. There's plenty of amazing people involved in this play. Um, young, younger, hungrier, and ready for a fight. And so that, to me, is where we're at. And so I am, you know, I came into April... It's after Easter. I did my little message. I shared with you guys on Easter. And I'm telling you what, I'm I'm coming back. And we're starting this new quarter, this last two, three quarters of the year now. I'm in fight mode. And it's time to fight. And so, and that includes kicking my own company in the butt. GTII, get it together. It is time. It's time to get it together. And for whatever personal reasons, whatever you're, you slow down. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not upset, but I am ready for some new we're in a fight and we need fighters. We can, we can't have people slowing down. We can't have people downshifting. We have to keep it going until this breaks. You owe that to the people who save your company, which is all of us shareholders. It's our company now too. And you, you owe it to us. You owe it to us to give us to that. And, and because we got you this far, and so now it's time to do the right thing and either force something through, get start getting stuff done, show us you're working harder, or turn it over. And I think it's time. And here's what I think. I think that will happen. I do. And I think it's up to all of us to keep tweeting about it, keep pushing it out there, not legals, filing a lawsuit, which I, I have no problem with. I think that's fine. And I think it's time to get the, that lawsuit on to put the put the you know put them their feet to the fire, and I think it's time for all of us to say, you know what, we're doubling down. We're in this. We will fight with you, but you also need to keep showing us you're fighting with us. And that's it. And the truth is, is if we left, if if we left, it's over. Their company's over, and and so we're we're not stupid. This is not AMC. Okay, 
you guys haven't betrayed us, GTI's management, so thank you. And we honor that. And that's why we're still here. You guys haven't betrayed us. Like in AMC got betrayed and other companies got betrayed. You haven't betrayed us. So we're not going anywhere unless you betray us by giving up and that and then not not letting us fight with you. But that's not I don't think that's anywhere close to happening. As I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm in this till the end. OK. And, um, you know, but I'm letting you guys know we might have we might have a couple of crappy days coming up. And as for me, if it goes down to 10 cents, like Arca said, is possible. You better believe I'm accumulating like hell if it goes to 10 cents. That means for 100 bucks, I can get a thousand shares. Are you kidding me? I'll go nuts on that. I will go nuts on that. So I'm excited. I still think I this hasn't hurt my hope in GTI at all. I'm not even upset. I'm not angry. I'm not um, depressed. I'm not discouraged. I'm actually fired up because now the door's open for us to fight even more so on our side. And you know what? When it times to fight, when the people get involved and they get fired up, that's a lot of times when good things happen. So that's that's GTI, guys. So let me go through. I'm going to look through the comments, questions, uh, do my best to answer everything. And then we're going to move on with the rest of the show. But that's my thoughts on GTI, my opening thoughts. And I just want you guys to know, like I, to me, the setup is the exact same. It, it is. And somebody wrote me today and was like, you're an idiot if you think a 20 cent stock can go to $1,000. Fine. Call me an idiot. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Is it probable? These things are never probable. You have to you have to do everything. You have to see it for what it is. If a 20 cent stock goes to $200, that's the same as a $1 stock going to 1000. So if GTI squeezed to $500, that's the same as a $1 stock going to 2500. Is this still an amazing squeeze? Yes, it is. And it's about playing it right and it's about doing it right and my nose is itching for some reason. I don't know why all day I go fine. And then I start, <laughs> I think there's something in my room because I leave my window open a lot. So this, the allergies get to me. But anyways, so guys, we're, we're fine. I have, you know, if you got to get out, you're terrified. You, the fight's not for you. I get it. This is not, this is not uh, diamond hands. This is use your brain, make smart decisions. And to me, GTI is still an incredible short squeeze setup that's going to yield amazing dividends, but it's just time for us to fight a little bit harder. So, all right, let me catch up here. Zachary, after they dropped the ball, do I sell faith? I think I just answered that. CEO sold 80K last month. Yeah, I mean, they sell every month. That's that's normal. They've always done that. Um. Aaron says, I think it goes to 10 cents. I'll buy 50,000 shares. I know, me too. <laughs> um, Arkansas said, fall 10, yeah. What's up, Vinman? Did I see Kristen shots? Oh, we'll talk about that later. Husker, we got to show them we still support our fighting back regardless of those in charge. Exactly. It's, it, it, like I said, the way I look at GTI, it's my company. It's your company. I'm going to fight for my company. And that's that's it. I'm invested. I'm in it. This is this is my company. This is my short squeeze. And I'll be damned if anybody steals it from me. That's how I feel about it. And nothing's going to change that unless they completely screwed us over. But here's the deal. No reverse splits coming. They, they promised us to that. And even if new leadership come in, they have no incentive to do a reverse split. They don't need it to stay on NASDAQ. They're OTC. So we don't need to worry about that. How could they kill us? They could, they could dilute it <clears throat> completely out. Now we'd still have a short squeeze. It'll just kill the price as high as it could go. So they could do that. But the reverse split is the death knell. That's the one thing. Or go bankrupt. And... GTI can't go bankrupt. It's it's like because of the nature of the company. So I'm not worried about any of that. Big JR, nothing's changed for me. GTI looking forward to changes coming soon. Amen. Cindy Lou Williams said a while back that younger Will was very upset with the CEO. Yeah. Yep. I think I know he's talking about too. Not legal. Yeah, still filing. Yep. Let the paper hand sell, get down to 10 cents less. We'll keep buying. Get to that. I agree. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, GTI is greater than AMC. I believe so. 
Ridge Ridge wholeheartedly and with you on GTI. I love it. Love it. Yeah, let's, I mean, I love it. You guys are fighters, and that's why I ride with you. Dustin, way Richard sound like you believe GTI never had intention of getting deals done. Um, I listened to that <coughs> William or that um, Richard video, and I did not get that same thing from him. What I did gather is that um, that's the the pattern they've settled into, is that they were content to now just do it. But <clears throat> if uh, I don't think he meant that was how they always were with the company, because that's just not how the company's always been. So, but I do think something shifted and they probably got tired. They're old, they're small. They probably got tired and they got complacent and they, maybe they, maybe they gave up. Maybe they thought it doesn't matter what we do. We can't win. And you know what? That's fine. Everybody's, but then it's time to turn the company over to somebody else who's ready to keep fighting. So William Ham going to Korea, dividends coming, Alpine's going down. We get new GTI management in a few months. Fingers going to pour into GTI for their run. Good things are coming. Amen. That's okay, 1230. You can be upset and angry and discouraged. I get it. You don't have to be me. Nobody does. You, you make your own decisions. Diddy said he's a GTI owner. <laughs> Avid thinks four for finger soon. I tell you what, finger look good today. Finger look really good today. Yeah, so now what? I agree with you. Calvin, fam, if GTI drops below 20, I'm going stupid, waiting for the dividend to German suplex of shorts. <laughs> You're going stupid? <laughs> no guarantee we can trust the new CEO. Well, I tell you what, if the people, um, there's some people I think who, uh, who could turn into it. And I think they'd be amazing. Queefer Bitcoin went from a dollar to 69,000 different, still the same information's there. I'm waiting for 10 cents. There you go. See, I love it. See, you guys are in the point now where we're all thinking like we're thinking about math and we're thinking logically, we're not thinking emotions and that is, that's the way we win. That's how we win. Uh, crazy Larry, no price movement until the company closes a deal. Zero guarantee Alpine's demise will cause a squeeze. <clears throat> yeah, there's zero guarantee any single catalyst will cause a squeeze. There's no guarantee in anything, Crazy Larry. What are you trying to, what's your point? Eat some seaweed, no reason to leave after all this time and energy. I agree. But I'll tell you guys, if 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 they do something that screws us over, if they try to create GTI ape <laughs> or, or if they, or they call it ipe, <laughs> if they create ipe or if they, and they call it uh, uh, the pounce, <laughs> I'm out, <laughs> I'll be out. <laughs> or if they, you know, if they reverse split by, you know, 30 to one, 50 to one, I'm out. But I don't think any of that's happening. KYP, my good friend, how are you? It's good to see you. So glad to see you. I've missed you. Uh, finger earning report. I don't know. They haven't set a date, but it should be soon. After AMC, I'm immune to this patience. Amen. Same here. What's up, Heidi? Not legal advice. Putting in a lawsuit. He wants the insider selling to stop till they start making money. Absolutely. And we should ask for that. We absolutely should. They shouldn't get paid for not doing anything. I agree with that. What will trigger price movement? Plenty of things. A deal. The dividends getting uh, issued. Um... I mean, the main thing, though, is to get revenue in the company. Then, man, LSU's women's basketball team sparked outrage prior to the game against Iowa. I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't care. We still have 429 to provide the dividend. Absolutely lyrical. They're supposed to. So there's that. I've noticed there's a lot of shills and Williams, and you have some as well. I think they're getting nervous. Oh, yeah, I get the shills. Every time something's about to happen, I get it. GTI can easily get back to all time high at nine bucks on no news with news like Trento. You can get to 30, 50. Absolutely. Yeah. Anything more on ZJ? Well, not right now. No, it's KYP. I get it. I need a vacation too. It'll come for me eventually, but I'm glad you got away. Your beach picture looked uh, beautiful. Given the age, is there any chatter of closing? Given the age, what's that question, Kryptonian? I don't know what you mean by that. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, I'm going to start going through some stuff. So. Um, so that's where we are in GTI, okay? Any other questions, I'll happily answer. That's where we're at. I'm going to be pushing on, on the company more from Twitter and from here, be publicly calling for changes uh, along with Not Legal and, uh, and anybody else. But we're going to do it gently, 
Um, unless we need to get more forceful, not doing it forcefully enough through a lawsuit. We're going to do it honorably because they have fought for us this far and they haven't betrayed us, like I said. I think they're just old and tired. That's what I think it is. And that's fine. But it is time to uh, to to let somebody fight for the company for us, and if that's the case. But um, anyways, other than that, I just we're gonna we're gonna keep moving. Oh, crypto! I think I know what you mean. Given their age, is their chatter of closing? No, there has not been a hint of GTI closing its doors. And why would they? They they had no need to. It's much more beneficial for them to keep it open, change it over, keep those shares, and run it up. I you know what? From all this time. They've been fighting all that they've done. It tells me that they want the squeeze as well because they know it'll enrich them significantly. So they want it too. They do, but they just might be too tired to fight. And that's that's just, we can't have that. We just can't have that. Time to call Saul. We do. We should have Saul come in. <laughs> Saul, good man. He'd get it done. That's for damn sure. All right, guys, I'm going to start with this tonight. Moving on to the economic stuff, which by the way, why do I do the economic news? Couple reasons. A, it's important for all of us to know what's going on so we can make decisions. And uh, okay, so it, that's number one. It's very important to know what's going on and get the real news on the economy because this affects all of us. Helps us plan, all that. Number two, we're in short squeeze stocks. GTII, Finger, ZJYL, GDC, um, you name it. Like so many of these stocks could blast off because they're so manipulated down when they're trapped. The economy, if it tanks, the markets go kaput. I've showed you guys that that is to me the most absolute way it short squeezes. That is if there's if if a deal can't send it, but it was a, is a maybe could send it. If um you know, a dividend could maybe send them, but but maybe not 100%. To me, the liquidity drying up, the, sh the naked shorts running out of money, and all, all this stuff happening from an economy, an economic collapse, a stock market crash, to me, that is the number one way it runs, just like in the big short. That's, to me, is is uh, why it's so important. So that's why I also go through all this. Um Ricky, I don't think they're using us as a cash cow. I think they're doing what they've always done, but I think they kept doing it when they probably shouldn't have. That's that's how I feel about it. Maddie, here for the fight. I love it. What's up, Dips? Tom, it seems like a time frame of the switch from Trenchard AI. Delay of the 10K is more likely due to the deal finalization. We can hope so. We really can. So, Vim, man, I did see it. I'm going to get there. Well, I think I saw it. Uh, but if not, I'll pull up, okay? But first of all, guys, let's go to gold. Gold today was up $30 again at one point, closing at all-time highs again. This is back-to-back, uh, -back, just soaring past 2200 Why is this a big deal? Well, gold is the number one safe haven. This is, this is crazy the way it's running up. And remember, this started last Thursday and Friday, this, this blast-off. Because remember, it was flirting uh, right under 2200 for a while there. It was like 2194 seven 21 you know is just right at that area of breaking 2200 and it couldn't break it now it's shot past it um up almost a hundred dollars in the last uh few days it, it, it it's soaring and this is this is a big deal this is showing me that the people are they're jumping out now if we look today's markets dow got crushed s p red but not crushed nasdaq barely held on but this is after last week which was such a winning week for the markets and now pre-market futures are down again we're starting off this new quarter and i told you guys i had a feeling this might happen we're, we're starting off the new quarter down and this might have been they they might have kept things propped up coming through march and now they might they might be allowing some steam to be taken out of the stock market. Here's the here's the problem with that. If if uh, if this gets out of control, if they have a couple bad days in a row, it could break something. It could. And remember, at the end of March, we started getting whisperings. Actually, not even whisperings. We we're getting stories of more banks being downgraded, uh, BTFPs getting pulled out. It's uh, the liquidity was drying up, and the banks are getting worse and worse. Commercial real estate is crashing. Um, all these signs point to <laughs> if the market starts going down, that could accelerate really, really fast. Um, oil is up. Ten years down a little bit right now, but it was up earlier. 
we started the day that U.S. tenure was up uh, 13 cents. So that was that was a big deal. And that also was crushing the um, the stock market. So everybody's running to these safe havens. Now, Bitcoin's been getting smashed, but that's probably to be expected until after the halving. So uh, anyways, but the gold is something I'm really keeping my eye on. Now, I'm going to keep going through because I, I got a lot to, to show you guys today. Michael Burry, you guys know, big short fame. He's called... Uh, one or he's called 10 of the last one crashes <laughs> he he's been very bearish on the market for a while now but uh I, he came out again recently saying it could be 90 percent stock market crash coming up and remember i shared with you guys uh david hunter saying 80 percent so there's a lot of people a lot of really smart people been watching these trends for a long time saying some massive is coming soon uh let's see here MMA one wants out leave with the biggest evidence of a short. Amen. Chris G, what's up? We need a ray of hope. Well, there's always hope, brother. Uh, Jeff. Speaking of David Hunter, he says 5,000 ounce gold before market collapsed. Didn't he? Was his prediction 5,000? I don't know if it was that high. It would take a lot to get there. I think it's 3,000 an ounce. That sounds much more uh, predict, much more um, doable to me. But maybe he did say five. I didn't catch that. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. Is Goldman Sachs having liquidity problems? Isn't this interesting? Uh, today, the paying agent for Goldman Sachs Finance Corps refused to pay interest and principal on a long list of MMI issued by Goldman Sachs because the money didn't arrive on time and the payments will then <laughs> delay 24 hours. Guys, when they are delaying payments, uh, that is, that's a bad sign. All right. Here's uh, the paper right here. But Goldman Sachs is, you know, one of the biggest banks in the world. Um, I don't know. Is it number two behind Chase? It's up there. If they're having liquidity issues, uh, watch out. It's, if they're having liquidity issues, it's, it's already over. It's just a matter of time till it breaks because there's nobody going to save them this time. Now, I'm not saying Goldman Sachs won't get saved. I mean, the markets won't get saved. They'll, you know, Goldman Sachs will be one of the few they'll bail out, but we know Powell already said they're going to let banks fail. So get ready. Get ready because this is this is wild. Um, and this is dated today. Today. So they they fought. They fought to get everything good up through March because it was the end of a quarter. And now April 1st already here and all this stuff's coming out. All right. Let's keep moving. Um, all right. So this is already weaker than 2008. What's weaker than 2008? All right, here we go. Restaurant sales and traffic are the weakest since they were closed during COVID. Remember, always watch what consumers are doing to tell you where the strength is. Look at this dip right here. Okay, this is shoot up after everything opened up and everybody had stimulus checks. We've been on a steady decline, but now way down here. And here's 08 to 10, the great financial crisis. And you guys can see it's pretty considerably lower. Okay, it's about right here. Uh, that's <laughs> that's a big deal. Okay, people are not going out. It's starting to it's starting to dry up. Uh, bank liquidity drying up. So are people's pocketbooks. How do they make this pass the election? They don't, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people are like, it's an election year. They'll keep it propped up. No, the last three financial crises happened in election years: 2020, 2008. 2000 all of them happened before the elections those years we are headed for this to happen before the election and it's uh <laughs> it could start this month it could if it doesn't start this month i think the next two months are going to be extremely volatile with the economy the markets just hanging on and if they don't break summertime things really slow down with trading and everything so we'll probably make it through the summer but then fall, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. That's how I look at it. Not legal. What's up, Richard? Hope you're well. What kind of tree is not kosher? A pork, a pine. <laughs> oh, my God. You can go now. <laughs> I love it. I'm doing well, Richard. Loved your last video. I'm on board with you, man. Uh, we already talked about GTI, but we're, uh, we're, we're behind you. We're going to get this done for our company, right? That's how I see it. Um. Look at Bitcoin. I was looking at Bitcoin. Yeah. 
Who receives stimulus checks? You got zero dollars for stimulus? I don't know, man. Uh, I did. I got them, but I have six kids, so that's that's probably the main reason I got them. Lyrical. Big banks will cause squeeze because they will recall share loans. Uh, they'll be first to try and dump, retrieve, and sell because cash kick. Absolutely. That's what I believe is ha going to happen. I believe the banks are going to start calling in all their credit, and and because they're going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be terrified, and the risk assessors are going to say. We got shore up, move to safe assets, move to safe assets. And that's where they'll pull out from the, the short sellers. And short sellers who are trapped, like naked short sellers who live on credit, they're going to be done. And that's when the short squeezes happen. So I completely agree with you. Think of June, if Biden drops out, then the market might drop. June, Biden's not dropping out, I hate to tell you. I've been saying it forever. I've been right so far. And I'm holding on to that. Biden's not dropping out. Uh, okay, back to DJT. I've been talking about it a lot. DJT got crushed today, and this is what Ham says happened. Uh, if you want to play, now is the time. Cheap options if you can get one. The attack by shorts is almost over. Soon they cover. Uh, it went down from 62 today down to 47. Got absolutely crushed. Um, I, uh, I was able to sell at a profit before all this went down. Thankfully, I saw the writing on the wall this morning when uh, pre-market was down. But I'm going to get back in. Uh, I'm going to get back in because I do believe there's uh, a potential for a, a squeeze here. I don't think it'll be a thousand bucks. I think it might be a hundred, 150, somewhere in that range. Um, but I definitely see DJT is not done. I agree with Ham on this. And so right now DJT is down. I think it closed at 48. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to be looking to get back in soon. Uh, but I, I had to get out before the, the collapse happened. I'll get back in on um uh, I'm watching tomorrow to see if it opens up down or up. If it starts moving up, I'm probably getting back in. Because Ham is really good at these calls. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when he when he gets on these like one day calls, when especially when he's not in it, <laughs> he's not in DJT. <laughs> he calls them really accurately. I know I've made money off uh, his calls in um, uh, GNS, and there was a couple others where he's called them out, and um, so. I'm looking at DJT again real quick. Bitcoin hit 66,000. Wow. Jeff, do I believe they will They will just permit the markets to drop 80%? No way in heck. Only better option is to drop rates, print, and bail this. Otherwise, guarantee election. Uh, but Jeff, we've talked about this. I don't think Powell's on Team Biden. I don't think he's on Team Trump either. But I definitely don't think he's on Team uh, Biden. He hates yelling. And uh, if they were going to do that to keep it prop, they would have cut already. I also don't see any way they print because if uh, if he's not going to let the markets crash, well, then he's going to get hyperinflation. Either way, it's a guaranteed election loss. But the stock market crash is less chance of um, hyperinflation will be a, a bigger loss for them than a market crash. Guarantee it because that affects people's day to day lives. Kira says, Bitcoin 40,000 before the halving market. Wow, 40,000? You think it'll go that low? Wow. Crypto, baby. There's Crypto Cruise. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mike, why would DJT squeeze? Can they short it to infinity like they do with the other ones? Well, DJT is much more strength than a lot of these other ones, much more interest. Think about it this way. MAGA is the biggest movement maybe in the world right now. And we're talking somewhere between 80 and 100 million adults in America who are all in on Trump, okay? And with all those people who don't, most of them are not traders, most of them don't do much in the stock market, but their guy has a stock with his name on it right now and they are buying. They are buying and they are going, so that, just that, even if, 5% of them buy. That's and let's say it's 70 million, okay? That's three and a half million people willing to buy some of this stock at 5% of his fall like the the big people in it. Uh that is strength that none of us have in any other stock. And that's why they won't be able to crush it to zero. I'm telling you right now. Um yeah, I know the the yeah, Mark. Thanks for sharing all that. They definitely yeah, I knew True Social wasn't uh, profitable. I think everybody knew that. 
Yeah, Robert. See, yeah, I think a lot of people who follow Powell understand that with him. He's not on the Biden train. He's just not. All right. Guy Ed, who I love, said last year they'll crash stocks to save treasuries. I was wrong last year. I'm not wrong. This still a likely outcome. So Jeff, this is also to you. Uh, they'll crash stocks to save treasuries. Treasuries are way more important to them than stocks as assets. They just are. They're they're massively important because this is how they fund the government. Okay, so uh, I look to this as well. Treasuries are, that's what they have to keep alive, much more than stocks. Powell's job is to tee up big bank success. The great talk taking is real. I think the great taking is real in theory. I don't think it's going to happen the way that guy predicts. That's that's what I would agree with. And I think his I think the movie's great. I don't agree with his conclusions as to where we're going. Uh, Richard, good old not legal, who was here just a second ago, uh, tweeted this out today. Management council lying to shareholders about a material event. In my opinion, security security security. <laughs> They're a little von Quiqui for you guys. Security fraud, David, Kathy, and Jack, watch your email Thursday for coming attractions. He's um, and this is fine. Richard, go get him. We we need the push. It's our company. It's time for leadership to get it together. So um thank you for doing this and we appreciate you fighting for us. And we are all behind you because GTI has so much potential to do crazy amazing things for all of us, but we need the leaders to keep fighting. So do that, light that fire. Uh, hey, I'm sharing this, and this just inspires me. But great line from the big short on finger. Mark Baum, we're going to wait, and we're going to wait, and we're going to wait until they feel the pain, till they start to bleed. To me, it means let the stocks run and run. I love this. This is what we want. We want them, once we're getting our win, and which we're doing right now, wait and wait and wait till they feel the pain. They're not feeling much of the pain yet, but they're also trapped. And that pain will come. And when it comes, it's going to be intense. And that's because we're not going to give up. Finger was crazy strong today, only going to get stronger. Uh, I look forward so much. And I agree with what Ham's doing. Is his putting his focus now on Finger. Kind of like uh, the fight, amping up the fight with GTII that I'm talking about. He's doing this all in on Finger. We get one, we get them all. And so that's the new strategy. Get the one to break out all the rest. And so, um, it, absolutely, I think it's the right right thing to do right now for, for him. Again, this is the other one, a great line. Michael Burry, it's only a matter of time before someone else sees this investment. We have to ask heck now. Get in before others see the trade. Finger, that's what I think. We all got in before others saw it, guys. And that's why we're going to be the ones who profit the most. So just just remember that. we're This has happened before, okay? Happened on a smaller scale because there was less people involved. But now we're, we're smarter. We've had years to, to learn and grow. And we found our big shorts. And it's, it's the opposite because this time we're killing the shorts. But the theory is the same. The idea is the same. It's corruption. We're beating corruption. And we got them trapped just like they did with the mortgage-backed securities. And we're going to rip their faces off. And it's coming. I believe it's coming. Uh, finger, it could come because of some of these deals putting through. So it could happen faster. And if not, it's going to come because of market crash. I completely believe that. Ocean. Devin Nunes, late this afternoon report, they have $200 million, True Social, okay. It has $200 million in the bank for the merger. Oh, yeah. DJ2 will go back up. I love it, Ocean. Thank you for sharing that. AMC 1000. After AMC, I'm immune to stress, even though down 200 k Keep the fight. Wow. See, if you can do it with down 200K, that's impressive. Light the fire. That's right. Husker, keep, finger goes first and GTI and ZJ Wild 100%. How could we remove? Well, Ricky, we can't force them their removal, but what we can do is keep that pressure on and, uh, and let them know that they need to get something going. Uh, Richard also filing lawsuits and stuff. That can also do it. So finger at three green candle, close in a row. Did it? Was that was today the third day? I didn't know that. All right, let's keep moving. All right, Kobezi Lair writes today: interest expenses. This is the interest that our United States government is paying on its debt, officially larger than Medicaid. That it's sick, it's sick. Net interest costs on U.S. debt hit six hundred fifty-nine billion last year. 
That's more than Medicaid and spending on children, which both sat around $600 billion. That's more than triple the amount spent on veterans. Veterans programs and income security programs combined cost less than the interest expense. We're only three months into 2024, and the U.S. has already spent $350 billion in net interest expense. What's the long-term plan here? It's bankruptcy. They're going to bankrupt us uh, if this doesn't stop. And there's something has to change quick. Some has to change quick because this is this is getting out of hand. The government already props up our economy. Uh, our economy is so centralized right now; it's sickening. Um, as this gets bigger and bigger, and all this spending dries up down here because they have to service this. Uh, once that happens, um, our economy will tank on that uh, alone. So, because we're good enough, smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like us. <laughs> I love it. I believe in miracles too, immortal. Uh, so now at my point, once diesel fuel goes up, all consumer goods will cost more and less money put in the market when we're striking against the market. hundred percent. So now what? hundred percent. Yeah. Down 25 K. Wow. One keep fighting. Amen, brother. I'm not going anywhere, man. All right. Here's the commercial real estate. Jimi Hendrix red house in San Francisco faces floor foreclosure due to a $1.9 million debt. With the owners defaulting, despite its status as a tourist attraction and rumored inspiration for Hendrix's Red House, experts dispute Hendrix ever lived there. <laughs> so they've been making money off this house. But anyways, it just goes to say that the, the real estate market is just going nuts. And here, defaulting on $129 million loan in New Jersey. Trouble comes in New Jersey's office parks. This is going on all over the place. And this is Kirsten Shaughnessy. She shares these stories every day. Um, it's great. She does such a good job keeping track of all this. Um, but we're seeing commercial real estate and real estate just going nuts. It is, it's, it's collapsing right before our eyes and nobody's talking about it except for people like Kirsten, myself, uh, people really watching it. Now I need to see Vin, what were you saying? Uh, oh, is this it? Jamie Diamond. Diamond's private meetings in Washington come as a bank. Is currently facing serious investigation for billions of improperly conducted trades, federally insured bank. Ooh, that's interesting. Two of its federal regulars. So this is Chase in trouble. Diamond huddles in private with Biden bigwigs as his face as this bank faces more crime charges. Wow, I did not see this. Today. So Jamie Diamond, Chase Manhattan, uh, uh, JP Morgan Chase in big trouble uh, over this, it sounded like. Illegal trading. Properly conducted trades by federally insured bank. Wow. Okay, then. I mean, imagine if Chase gets hit with billions of dollars in fines and has to pull out of helping uh, short sellers and everything make trades. Whew, that could really accelerate things quick. You're down $2 million. OnlyFans is killing you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Ty Nye, Nye, you're down 300 k Wow. Uh, Grotto just joined. Why am I the only one seeing GTIs up to one on after hours? Well, that's that's funny, Grotto. That's a uh, April Fools. You being April Fools? <laughs> OTC doesn't trade after hours. <laughs> Media, you're down 200k. Wow, you guys are incredible. Your uh, your dedication. Etchabowski, any chance GTI owners are just ripping people off and collecting all the investor money? Well, the reason I don't think so, Etchabowski. Well, okay, two things. A, they've always gotten paid by selling shares. And so you can look at that as ripping off uh, GTI investors. You can, and that's fine. If That's your prerogative. I just see it as that was their payment plan. That's what they always did. The reason I don't see it as, a, uh, as them ripping us off is because they their, their shares have gotten killed too. So imagine these guys, they had this agreement where – Every month they get to sell so many thousands of shares for their income and, and GTI was at two bucks. Well, they're making bank. Now it's at 20 cents. They're making nothing. That's a big deal. And so if this was a big con just to keep doing that, well, that's the stupidest con ever because they're killing themselves more than they're killing us because that's their incomes. They're living off this. So I don't think it's a big con or a big ripoff. Now, on top of that, what I'll add to that though is that if they're not getting stuff done, that agreement should be halted because there should be no reward 
for a company not turning profits uh, or at least not getting stuff done uh, as far as deals and revenue. So so that's that's how you can look at it. Um, but that's a, I, I don't see it as a big con, but uh, for a lot of reasons, it, to me, it just wouldn't make sense. But I also see it as being irresponsible to continue. Ham said, what do they do to it? And what companies did they do it to? A absolutely, Vin. Jeff, watch Plandemic 3 today. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they want to get the uh, Great Reset down. Jamie Diamond's complete douche rocket with extra booster. <laughs> so Seeking Alpha is showing that? I mean, I'll go look in a second. Yeah. Saber, what's up? Bob, does David Reichman have another company that does with GTI? I don't think so. No, I don't think he has another company. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, yeah, so I'll, if you guys want to check out Plandemic, um, I've found those to be pretty good movies. Uh, check out. It's definitely good information to have, whether you agree with it or not. And Cantrix, just look, GTI filed a 12B for being unable to file on time. Yeah, that was out today. All right, I'm going to go look on Seeking Alpha and see what this $1 thing is real quick. But Seeking Alpha has not been good to us in the past either, so... But GTI doesn't trade in after hours. Uh, pink current info post market up 77 cents. That is wild. I don't know how that happens. That's got to be some kind of mistake. That is very strange, though. I don't know. It can't trade in after hours, so. Very interesting. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, all right. Hypothetical question we need to answer is who would trigger a treasury collapse? Japan has been a close economic ally of the U.S. forever and absorbed their treasury issuance. China saved the U.S. from the 2008-2000 recession, but they've been reducing their treasury holdings. I can't see China dumping treasuries before maturity unless we're at war. Japan, however, could very well trigger an event. They suddenly begin unloading them, forcing the dollar and yields higher. If they can induce enough selling, the process fields on itself until USQE. Uh, in other words, we're, we're watching very carefully right now. We're at the brink where if anybody, any of these big, com uh, big countries, not companies, start selling their treasuries early, it'll, it'll crash us fast. And would we have any, any reason for that? Well, I don't know. Let's, we need to pay attention and see if there's any wars going on that start picking up in Asia because uh, that could crush our markets fast. The only way out of this is taking the outstanding U.S. Treasuries out of circulation by paying fraction of their face value. In other words, if the U.S. got back a hold of all of our Treasuries and took them out of circulation, in order to do that, we'd have to get them back. Problem is you need to force nations to sell their treasury holdings before maturity, either by economic crisis or both. So just interesting thoughts over here if I finance a lot on how to get out of a treasury crisis. I don't know, guys. Just another another thing going on. That's all I'll throw out there. Uh, I don't think people realize rates could double from here, like the 60s and 70s, even with the stock market and economy collapsing. What we're seeing right now suggests treasury market collapse could indeed occur so if the treasury market collapses uh it'll force them to raise rates like in the past breakout of the dollar and yield curve are underway four rate cuts are about to become four rate raises powell lied to you again wouldn't that be interesting and i'll just say it i've been very skeptical of the rate cuts the entire time since december you guys know this about me and i said i would be more I would be more likely, uh, I think, with inflation going up to see rate raises and rate cuts. And now the breakout of dollar and yield curve are starting to show the same thing that they might have to go that way. Can you imagine what will happen if there's another rate raise? This is why <clears throat> I don't believe they can print to save this one. And I don't believe, in my personal opinion, I don't believe Jerome Powell has any intention of trying to save the stock market. I believe it's going to happen. Uh, they're, they're going to let it happen because the only way to fix our markets is to purge them. That's the only way right now. And Powell 
I'm not saying I'm a big, huge, super pal fan. I'm not saying he's perfect in any way, shape, or form. But he's not a globalist. He's not a socialist. He is private equity, American capitalist, and he is doing things much differently than our last three before him, Fed chairman. Yellen, globalist, Keynesian, uh, Keynesian, sorry, Keynesian econ economist. Bernanke, globalist, Keynesian. Greenspan, globalist, Keynes Keynesian. Powell is not. He is against all of them, and the way he's running the Fed is much different than the three previous. And I don't think they're going to save the stock market this time. I really don't see it. Probably part of Richard's lawsuit. Yeah, he is. Uh, we need to stop GTI CEOs not to sell any more shirts. Uh, that is part of his lawsuit, yeah. And he said he's going to call for that. Brett, GTI does not trade after hours. These are cross trades done during the day. Plus that. There you go. Grotto, they do a lot of things they're not supposed to. I'm not saying I'll do a dollar at open. Won't get up. That would be nuts. I don't think it'll happen. I think Brett described it pretty well. We are at war in a way, yeah. Ricky, Richard's putting in the lawsuit for them. Cease and desist selling shares. Exactly, yeah. GTI to 10 cents. I'm a dollar cost average, 2,000 buy in. <laughs> That'll get you down fast. Vimman, Lauren Merchant's mother and Judge Merchant's wife worked for the Trump hating New York. <laughs> yeah. I know that all that Trump stuff is so wild. Okay, this going to gold prices. CNBC talking heads pundits have no clue why gold is spiking. Uh, this guy's takes interesting. Recent rally has nothing to do with rate cut expectations. Something much bigger. West is losing its pricing power in gold. China and BRICS are setting the price. If he's right about that, then um, if gold keeps rising, it's going to cause a lot of people to jump out of the stock market into gold which uh, might already be happening based on what we're seeing. Um, but it, it would be very interesting if China and the BRICS are really are setting the price as this guy espouses. So we'll see. But if you guys <laughs> if you can't see it, I don't know what you're missing because I am doing my best here to show you we are on the verge of something major coming in our economy and our markets it's there's no doubt about it it has to happen something is coming and and i think it's coming soon um i'm getting more and more i mean more and more confident of it happening actually fairly soon i mean look at futures right now how are we starting april just tanking it's i mean day one of april dow down 250 points that's that's huge. 240 it was down over 300 at one point. That that's a bad start to a quarter. So, is it is this it? Are we here? I don't know. It's way too early to to guess that, but could it be? Is gold the signal? I mean, look, it just went up it's gone up $4 since I was talking. Um silver starting to climb back up. So, guys, I'm telling you Where's crypto at? Yeah, Bitcoin's still getting crushed, but it's getting really, really interesting. Get ready, because if this goes down, if the stock market crashes, um, we're off to the races. We're off to the races. And if you doubt me on that, go watch that video I did with ChatGPT breaking down how it works um, in a crash with, with uh, short selling. But every indicator is that we'll soar. So GTI crushed today. Finger had a great day before after hours, but then it was only down two cents in after hours. But up 32 cents on the day. Finger really coming back. Everything else pretty crushed, though, just like the markets. And there's DJT just down 48, uh, 13%, $13. All right, let me see here. Yeah, and down two more in after markets. So, anyways, it's uh, it's getting interesting. But if these this continues to stay red up here, uh, these these little stocks are going to start climbing as that liquidity gets stolen out of the naked shorters' pockets and they're, they run out. Because remember, they're funding their shorting right now two ways. They are either using credit or they're pulling money from other profitable plays they have. When the market goes completely red and banks start losing their liquidity and start uh, stop issuing credit, they're gonna be scrambling to keep this up, and that's when and that's when they die.
and theoretically speaking and that's when we take off so gold should naturally hit highs what are you thinking martin december january and february are record months what I, record months you mean the stock market um it's actually not the rick the record months if you account for inflation so that's that's not completely tr uh, true you have to account for inflation and they're not record months based off of inflation don't think car stairs of the world bank car stairs who's car stairs no i don't think the world bank is pulling pal strings i actually uh, I actually agree with Tom Luongo and several others on this. And I think Powell has a big old FU finger up to the IMF, World Bank, and Eurozone. I think he's just like, screw you guys. Uh, you've been taking advantage of our markets for way too long. And it's time for us to keep our dollar strong and to hell with what happens to you guys. I think that's Powell's attitude. And Tom Luongo uh, really has the best explanation on this and breaks it down the best. Highly recommend listening to his stuff. He is fantastic at it. And Daniel DiMartino Booth, I'd have number two. Both of them make me think very strongly, also by what Powell's been doing, because it's hurting the rest of the world more than it hurts America. Um, I think he is uh, not being pulled by the World Bank. I really don't. Your friend picked up 34 pounds of gold seven months ago. Wow, that was a good one. Good pickup. Uh, William Broderick, thank you for the donation. Another squeeze play you got? Okay, I mean, I can't keep track of them all. I've heard there's possibly hundreds from our good friend Pedro, but BZFD stock going to squeeze too. Okay, well, I'll take a look at it when I get a chance. Thank you, William, for sharing. You got a butcher cow Friday? Nice, Donna. I love uh, having a bunch of cow in my fridge when I can, or my freezer. GTI to one cent. <laughs> you could be a whale by, by spend 2000 get 200 k Yeah, that'd be huge. I did see Arca's video. Yeah, Brett, I did. Uh, he talked about a gap from seven years ago. Well, he's saying they did not steal enough that long ago. In my opinion, it's nothing burger since you can't charge fraud. I totally agree. Totally agree. Diamond is always at Davos. I, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree we need to end the Fed eventually. Absolutely. I know. Vontae Davis died. That was crazy. Uh, BuzzFeed. Oh, is that BuzzFeed stock? <laughs> what? BuzzFeed squeeze. That'd be interesting. Uh, Steven, I've, I've gone through all the updates. I don't have anything quick, really. I had to break down some big stuff. The cat system. What's the cat system, Mike? I don't even know what that what you're talking about. Choo -choo. Kryptonian, we're in April. So we do have some good GTI news regarding our dividend at the end of the month. Yeah, so... Listen, we'll we'll see what happens with the um, with the dividend. You know, they might continue to kick the can down the road. But I tell you what, a, uh, Schwab especially really hammered home that the reason they didn't issue the dividend in the first place was because it was supposed to be a year. So that excuse is completely off the table after April 29th. Um, and I think it's going to make it much harder for all the other brokers to withhold it from us as well. And uh, you know, it's going to give us more ammo to go after them. So yeah, who knows what's going to happen with that? Maybe with the stock low, uh, they try to deliver it because they know it's easier to cover for them, whatever. And that, that ends up pushing us up. Uh, who knows, you know, eventually all this is going to change. We just don't know when JB, you follow me since AMC and your biggest fear is GTI training in AMC 2.0, but I'm here at the bitter end. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not AMC 2.0. Um, if I told you guys, if they betray us, that's a different story. That has not happened. That has not happened. I don't think BuzzFeed's AI. No, I think BuzzFeed is the old, uh, it's that old internet, you know, um, like entertainment and news site. They've been around way too long before AI, so they, I don't think they're AI. Kryptonian, we're witnessing what happens when large institutions get involved in crypto. It's clearly using it as liquidity window. 100% Kryptonian, 100%. Uh, 
DB Ham saying I could be a good CEO. <laughs> oh man, I can't even imagine. That would be wild. But um, you know, I yeah, I can't even imagine it. I'd probably have to be like consider being a board member first before CEO. I, I just yeah, I don't know. I'm not pushing for that at all. I don't know if I want it. I definitely don't want to live in New York. So now I heard something creepy today that those in power back in the day summoned a demon so they could spy on Russia. What? That's a crazy story. Uh, you'll have to shoot me more details. I'd love to hear the story. Yeah, GTI and AMC are so different. It's They're not even worth mentioning in the same sentence, except to contrast them. Uh, I've done so many videos on the differences between them, so we just, you know, uh, I, I'm not going to take the time to go through it tonight, but... What's happening with ZJYL? KYP, I don't know, but they might be getting their shares this week. IBKR is supposed to be getting the shares to the longs this week, which uh, we'll see how that impacts the price. Hopefully, hopefully something good. BuzzFeed fired so many people they claim they'll hit record profits. And <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Interesting. Okay. I did not see that. Yeah, they fired a bunch of their staff. You sent me the link to break ins Goldman Sachs having liquidity problems. Yeah, Vinman, I covered that. Where were you? I uh, brought that up earlier. We we already covered that, the Goldman Sachs liquidity thing. It was pretty crazy. We also covered uh, Jamie Dimon um, getting busted. So, um, yeah, pretty nuts. Can I keep similar thumbnails? What do you mean, Roblox? Can I keep similar th thumbnails? I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. J-Dub, stock market's completely rigged. They're all working against retail. Shaking my head, seems like we can't win. Well, it feels like that for sure, but... Listen, I've gone over this so many times. They're losing. It feels like they're winning, but they're losing. And they're at the end of this system they've created. They're, it's at the end. They cannot keep this going any longer. It, they are completely screwed. They've run out of everything they need to keep it going. And everything they needed was they needed low rates and they needed cheap money in Fusion. Well, liquidity is drying up. The banks are, are in terrible position. Um, all the assets, like real estate, is, co is collapsing, and uh, the the Fed is, that was running quantitative easing for ten years has been doing quantitative tightening for a year and with no signs of stopping. So the liquidity is drying up. There's no more free money, and rates are now high. Like especially considering we we built this uh, market off of fourteen years of of extremely low interest rates. So. You put all that together and everything they use to build this market is now collapsing. And uh, add to that the all-time record federal debt. Um, there's so many things going on right now. Inflation uh, being extremely high and them unable to curb it the way they want to. They've gotten it down a little bit, but it's still way too high and it's climbing back up the last two and a half months. So everything they use to build this economy, this market the way they did is is going. It's, it's drying up. So they're losing. On top of that, retail is getting more and more educated. We're smarter than ever. We're watching them now. We're, we're calling for justice. We're, we're staying on top of them now. Twitter has freed that up in amazing ways. It's So you factor in everything. And I couldn't disagree more that we won't win. To me, it's like it's we will win. It's just a matter of time. When? I don't know. Could be next month. It could be six months. It could be next year. I don't know. But will we win? Yes, because we are already winning. It just hasn't it hasn't turned into what we want yet, but it'll get there. I, I truly believe that. Biden on my commercials? I don't know. If I could block buying commercials, I would, but I don't know. I guess the joke's on me because, or joke's on them because uh, every time you watch one of their commercials, they have to pay me like two cents. <laughs> they don't pay much, but it's something. Yellen and the Treasury Department will not let the market crash. She's been growing the Treasury account to release liquidity for large company to inject deposits while Powell deflects. We'll see. I disagree with you, um, I, I totally disagree with you. But And I've showed you all the reasons why. And a lot of the really, really smart people um, that I follow, like they all they all agree with me that it's it's got to come to an end. But could you be right? Absolutely. There's stuff. Uh, there's always stuff we don't know. AMC is in a rough place, Ronald. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I know, Dave. I know you're kidding, but was there for real? One of those questions. Uh, I've heard people say there's Biden ads on my stuff before. Uh, let's see. Do I think finger divvy still coming? Oh, yeah. I believe that for sure. Roblox, you have low attention span notifications around. You scroll by when I change the thumbnails. You scroll by when I change the thumbnails. Oh, are you talking about... I mean, I change my thumbnail every night. I do a new thumbnail every night. BuzzFeed ain't going nowhere. Well, I mean, now that they fired everybody, I guess not. <laughs> but they cut their news division, which was the best part. I love when liberal news divisions go away. Some feel the cat system will stop illegal shorting. Well, that'd be great. What's up, Chris Son? Good to see you. Cat system wants re replacing the the oat system. They've actually been trying to get it done for years now. Who knows? It'll go right in effect. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Uh, so anyways, all right, guys. Well, Hey, I'm going to call it. It's over an hour. I'm tired. I got work tomorrow. I'll be on earlier tomorrow though. Um, so let's just keep an eye on everything. The, uh, I'm interested to see if how red the markets go tomorrow or if this turns around, I'm really keeping my eye on gold and look even up more $3 more since I last checked. Oh, gold's just having a field day, man. It's it's about to break twenty three hundred. It could happen tomorrow at this rate. That's pretty. That's pretty in, uh, intense. So all the all, all everything's cracking. Everything's cracking. So we'll just watch it more tomorrow, and hopefully, finger continues its trend up. I think DJ uh, DJT could turn around here. Uh, GTI probably will have a rough couple of days, but we're obviously uh, pushing on them. And uh, those are the main ones I'm watching right now. ZJYL, I'm waiting to see what happens with their shares. So if those go out, I think we could end uh, the week strong. Matt, can I start over? <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> I agree with you, Alan. AMC is worse than Mullen for sure. So uh, you're welcome, Heidi. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, XRP, I'll eventually get there, Dave. I just got to wait till I have the time and energy and the investment to talk about more. So you stay live 24 seven. Oh, I'd need to make a lot more of YouTube than I make now to be able to do this full time. <laughs> a lot more, like a hundred times more. <laughs> so anyways, but you know what? Hey, someday you never know. I would love to do it. I love creating content more than anything. And uh, I would love more time to research as well and do even better videos for you guys. So that would be fun. But anyways, if you do like more, I did a members live this weekend. You can join. It's only three bucks a month for members lives. I get three or four more lives out a month for the members. Uh, I am working on a second channel where I'm going to cover uh, stuff uh, from a spiritual perspective and also more po politics. So I'll have that. This will be more of my economic and markets channel. And that'll be more of my political and spiritual stuff channel going on so um that is that should be launching later this week and uh yeah and then also guys um uh speaking of building all that out um i might be moving the memberships to patreon so that there's a one-stop shop for members and i can also offer more for memberships so that's something i want to do because the members have been very good to me by uh taking care of me and um uh supporting the show so thank you guys for all you do Thanks for being here. Please like, subscribe, share on the way out. I really appreciate it. Um, helps the channel out a lot. And you guys are just the absolute best. So love you. And let me say a quick prayer to close out. And let's hope we have a good day tomorrow. So, all right. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. God, just bless everybody here. And Father, I pray that uh, you give us the right strategies to um, to move forward in, in our investments and uh, in prospering our families and uh, our country, God, uh, and bringing justice to our country and our markets. And Father, I pray that uh, God, regarding GTII, that God, you just put um, push on the the management team there to to get it back into gear or to uh, turn it over to somebody who will. And uh, we just thank them for what they've done so far to get us this far. But um, but it might be time for for new leadership. So, so, uh, anyways, we just, we bless our, our investment in that. And God, I just pray that, um, you continue to help us, uh, get wiser and have peace as we move forward to make the best decisions possible for whatever it is that's coming. 
In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Bless you guys. You are the best. I appreciate you, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. See ya.